Hiya. Today's video is about a coincidence which occurred yesterday online. But before that, I'll show you my exit from the block and a more unusual hello for me, perhaps. As targets of gang stalking, we know the timings of certain events, harassment, skits, etc. are not coincidence. Targets are able to be tracked, and the appalling ignorance, lack of interest, or warnings not to properly investigate this secret targeting program means journalists won't help uncover how we are tracked. To state again, as I have many times in my other videos, I don't take my phone with me when I go out, yet I am found by my stalkers. What happens to targets is not coincidence, and though plausible deniability can be used to explain away parts of our targeting, I know it cannot be used with some of my evidence. The real coincidence and I've had some strange and spooky coincidences over the years, was when I was on BitChute yesterday. I have a channel there, and I'll also visit to watch other people's videos. While searching for any that might be worth my time, I was looking at these ones when I heard Dunwich mentioned on the television. There's a program called Flog It, which I watch occasionally, and it's not about miscreants such as myself being publicly flogged. The presenter Paul Martin was in Suffolk and in this segment Dunwich was mentioned. Fascination about Dunwich, the Victorians embraced the town and had a ghoulish attraction in finding bones from the old graveyards as they combed the shoreline. Well, when we moved to Suffolk in the 1970s, my parents used to bring me out here. They'd sit on the beach and I would spend my time exploring. And in the 1970s, there was far more space between... Th